And we're back with more battle videos. So I forget which one this one. This is Frog Legs versus uh, some like Tornadus deck, Tornadus and um, Snorlax, I think. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Okay. Um, Frog Legs is probably one of my favorite decks in the format right now. Uh, Mill Tanker Ninja still runs Tropical Beach uh, to help you get that early setup. Um, Mill Tank only takes one energy. Greninja just sits on the bench and hides and throws out damage wherever it feels like. Lots of math required, but uh, it, it's fun. So, um, I apologize for not replying back to this guy. How dare you not talk to him? Most of the time, um, I'm at work, so if you see me online, you're probably playing the boyfriend. Um, but he's a better player than me anyway, so uh, you'll probably get better matchups with him. And we got turn one in. We're getting two froggies on the bench. Ideally, you would like to start with your Sigilyph and just hide. But since he starts with a Snorlax, really doesn't matter. Um, Life's not that good. And he's <laughs> starting off with, uh, you know, it's not a bad start. Um, so I'm confused at what he's playing right now. Snorlax, Keldeo, Floatstone, <laughs> Burbank. Um... I would just assume something Plasma-ish with like a one-tech Snorlax that he just unfortunately started. And then you see the Tornadus. Um, That's a very underrated card. That thing gets it like is. multiple colors machines on it. And you like refresh your hand and draw and all that. Yeah. Um, it started attacking a lot sooner than I thought it would. Which is why this was a good match. So this isn't bad. Um, turn 2 already has one Greninja out. Can already start uh, throwing on that damage with Water Shuriken. If that's how you say it. And Skylighting for the beach. And uh, you, I thought you'd be putting the damage on early on. No, I thought you would have Skylighted for a Juniper or something my like hand that. Is junk. I mean, it turned out okay, obviously. No bangles for you. I, I thought I was safe. Like this, there was no way this mill tank could go down. And he ends you anyways. Oh, but I foresee another froggy yeah. coming out. <laughs> so then he just <laughs> then he does that exactly. I'm yeah. Like, oh, turn two jet blast or whatever that attack's called. So that's definitely one I would have wanted. Why do you send the like? Because I'm planning to bounce. Why? I don't know. I just felt like doing it because <laughs> it was a fun game. <laughs> okay. Don't question my my methods. Oh, I'm questioning your methods. Don't question it. Just let it happen. So putting a little more damage on that Tornadus, and then he's gonna bounce, and bounce Deuces. right into that Sigilyph so that he can't hit it. Uh, pretty much stalling for time and uh, building up those frogs. I mean, I probably in a real game I just would have retreated to the Sigilyph, but you know you gotta go for it. And then he throws this Snorlax at me, and I. Uh, just get really scared. I mean, what are you going to do with a Snorlax that's got five energy on it and all of his bench Pokemon are Team Plasma? It's scary. And you don't play like a Mewtwo or anything. Yeah, well, this is your own fault for not <laughs> playing this game like you should have been playing it. <laughs> but that's okay. You can, you can afford the time to just sit there and set up. Yeah, I mean, Snorlax does take five energy to attack. Oh, hey, Apollo. <laughs> Sorry about that. Actually, they probably won't notice a thing, because uh, we're just doing the audio right now, but he totally just moved the entire desk, knocked the monitor. Okay, so we're going to go water shirking here. Damage up the Snorlax, getting it in range. And a beach for, what was that? Wow, you have four yeah, junipers in your it. hand. <laughs> and then the two energy retrievals. Wow. I think he ends me, which is, just thank you. He plays a Master Ball? Yeah. <laughs> you see, I come circling. How did this become a good close game when he plays a Master Ball? No offense to those of you that really play Master Balls, but come on. There's so many other good ace specs. Oh. 
Thank you. <laughs> Why did he retreat to that small I, I'm not sure. I don't question his playstyle. <sighs> so confused. Let's get out another Greninja here. Big froggy! Yeah, and once you, uh, pretty much when you get two Greninjas on the bench, then that's when this deck becomes really dangerous. Using... Because at that point, you can just basically one-shot EXs if you have, like, a uh, Silver Bangle. Yeah, so at this point, I'm just going to hide behind this this dying Sigalith and, <laughs> and snipe things with a frog. Go, frog! 30 on the Snorlax, and let's put, I think I do 30 more on that Tornadus with damage on it. Makes sense, getting them both within the shot of the mill tank. Yeah. And then just attaching in Juniper! Nah, pass. Save the water. I know I'm gonna, probably gonna attack next turn since I'm dying going, like, as his turn's ending I'll be dying, so I have to attack with a mill tank. So I put just enough damage on that Snorlax and that Tornadus to where I can one-shot either one of them with the mill tank. Yeah, I see why we're cheated the other one now. He just wants to wall behind it while he figures out something else. Tropical Beach, Water Shirkin, Juniper. You better not bounce. <laughs> no, I uh, bounce is a one-trick pony. If I did it again, I'd flip tails. Why did you put up the Froakie? There's a Snorlax. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> what did you do during this game? <laughs> do I try? You literally have to bounce to get out. <laughs> wow, you're bad at this. Well, I didn't want to... I think it was because I didn't want to send up the mill tank just to, like, sacrifice it. I think that was my thinking behind it. That poor little frog. He's like, I did so much work for you and you're just gonna sit well, here and let me die? Yeah, Why? like, I want him to bring up one of his, uh, attackers so I can kill it. So I can and get he's the just gonna kill you out. with lasers. No, he's not. He decides to go into the Tornadus. That was his downfall. I think he only won this game because he's not good. You know, he could be <laughs> watching, and that was just really rude of you. Okay. Yeah, see, I was just nice and said he's not good. Everyone in the comments are going to be cursing up a storm. Oh, they're probably going to be Talking about that. how much of an idiot this guy is not doing... Yeah, he's just, probably gonna. They're probably gonna say I suck too. But I mean, like, yeah, I just, you actually really suck in this match. I I used bounce for the love of God when I mean, you didn't on. have to. <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's see. Let's get back to the match here, not and stop talking about how bad I am. Um. Well, you decided to take out the Snorlax, and now yeah. you're taking out the Tornadus. I mean, there's... I'm taking out the things with energy on them. Pretty much not much to explain. I might have wanted to burn through a few more cards in my hand uh, for that end, but um, he's already end you, what, twice, I think? Three times, I believe. Three times. But don't worry, he's got another one, I think. Oh, no! <laughs> Go figure, you place four. I think I... Well, no, did you pull the megaphone off of the uh, prizes, or was that yeah. in your hand? Now, if he gets a windfall off of this, I'm just going to be... So surprised, because that one Tornadus had a ton of plasma energy on it, it felt like. But somehow he gets it. Wait, Windfall or... Or oh, Jet oh, Blast. Okay, Sorry, I was about to say, Windfall is the first one, right? Sorry. Let's see, Skyla, probably front of the Colors Machine, which at this point I'm surprised that So there's... he gets two... Oh, Shadow Triad, there we go. Lasers. Yeah, His yes. MVP is totally lasers. It is. Because I was hiding behind Sigalef half the game. You hid behind a frog, too. <laughs> <laughs> I 
water shuriken. Soften up that tornadus. And see, at this point, uh, I know to win the game, I'm going to have to snipe that Snorlax back there and this and knock out this Tornadus with powerful friends. That's a big player right there, is getting rid of that float stone. If he doesn't yeah. have another float stone in his hand, what's he going to do? He just kind of left that Keldeo active, and it's going to cost him. And with no Verbank in play, um, Poison's not really doing that much. He's already played two Verbank at least, I think, if not three. Yeah. They're just two. Hey, Apollo. Another Shadow Triad, which I mean, if your main attacker is the Plasma Tornadus, that's a good supporter. And his poor little Keldeo stuck. He did not have the Float Stone to get it out of the way. So, this is awesome. You just sit there and... Snipe and snipe and snipe. Yep, I'm Did sniping him to death with a bunch of little frogs. You just snipe the tornadoes? Yeah. Apollo wants to talk in the video. He says, I'd love to say, uh, to actually show my face, but uh, can't do that since you got a, this stupid game you're watching. God. <laughs> I never understood why everyone likes Pokemon. I mean, why not just pay attention to me? I'm just... Amazing, I'm a cat. Are you kidding me? I purr and headbutt. And right now I'm knocking over the camera. <laughs> nice! Oh, you're about to knock it off the table. I use my camera for my audio, so uh, he's trying to take out the audio recording device. Um, wait, were you already poisoned? Oh, he's trying to put you to sleep. So, more lasers! Oh, but you woke up. Yeah, and all, these, all this energy in my hand. Is and so that poor Tornadus is never going to get to attack. Nope. He's going to be sniped to death by frogs. Hmm. In a catcherless format, Greninja's pretty nice. Yeah. But this deck does have trouble with stuff like Lugia and Frizzing Genesect. So basically stuff they can just catch up the Greninja and kill it. Yeah, what's stupid is it really shouldn't struggle against Lugia that doesn't run Genesect, but Lugia just runs so fast that if this deck just misses one turn... No, did you just bench an egg? Don't question me, I'm having fun. <laughs> See, you give me a hard time, but you're just like, I'm gonna throw this egg in your face. <laughs> and that's the game. Uh, so stay tuned, I think we've got another matchup with Little Frog Legs that we'll be showing uh, in a few days.